In this video, we are going to start adding citations to our Zotero library. So as you're browsing the internet, either through a database or Google or Google Scholar, and you find content that looks interesting to you, you can save it to your Zotero library by looking for the Zotero icon in your web browser. So you'll remember that when you set up your Zotero account, you downloaded the Zotero web connector and so that's that button here. So if I have found this article that I wanna save for a paper I'm writing, I can click on this button and it's going to save it to the folder I've selected in my Zotero library, but I can also change that folder by pressing the drop down here. So then I found another article here via Google Scholar. I'm gonna do the same, add it to my library. Another thing I want to point out is that you can also save web pages. So this would be similar to how you can bookmark a website. Here, I'm going to save this to my library as well. So now I have all of these different resources that are related to this project that I'm working on in one place together. So when I go back to my Zotero library and I look in BioLab folder, I'm now seeing these three items the two journal articles I saved, as well as the website URL here. One of these I have put into the neuron development subfolder, but I can also drag the other ones into that folder as well, if I want them to all live in my neuron development collection. Now one thing I'd like to point out is that these items contain the information that you are going to use to write your bibliography. So if you click on this item here, you'll see all of this information in this info panel that Zotero has automatically pulled from the publisher. And this includes information that you would include in a bibliography plus some other information. We have things like the title, the authors, the publication date, the volume, the publication title. Occasionally you'll find an item where Zotero was not able to pull this content automatically. And then you would wanna go in and manually add that yourself. So you can just click on these fields to change them or add something. And this is really important because when you create your bibliography as you write your paper, if the information is not supplied here in this info panel, it's just going to be missing in the bibliography or not, not formatted properly. So it's good to just glance at these items as you add them to make sure they have the appropriate information included. Another thing to point out is that if you click on these arrows, in many cases, you'll find that Zotero has also pulled in the full text. So here, if you click on this, you go to the PDF. So this is also a convenient way to store PDFs rather than having them saved in various places on your computer. You can just have them all here in your Zotero account. Another thing I'd like to point out is that you can also add notes to items. So for example, if you click on this item and click on this new note, Here I've created a standalone note and I'm just going to say this has interesting information about whatever it is and then you can drag that into the item of your choice. You could also automatically put that attached to an item by adding the child note. Then it just puts it underneath the item automatically.